Hello, in this video we are going to talk about the circle and how to know what is the relative position between two circles. First, let us refresh our memories. What do we know about the circles? So, of course, a circle has a center and a radius and its not notation is C-O-R. What does that mean? It means C is the name of the circle. Circle, its name is C. The first uh, one to write here, it is the center. So, this circle is of center O. And the second one to write, it's R, the radius. Or we can write the measure of the radius if we have it. So, we can write C-O-3. means the circle C of center O and radius 3 centimeter. So, the second one represents the uh, radius. So we know that the circle measures 360 degree and the diameter of a circle is two times its radius. So circles, what are their relative positions? Here are all the possible cases of how can we draw two circles. They are five cases, one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five different relative positions of two circles. So we will study each one alone. But first, let us see in this, uh, in these figures, uh, in how many points uh, do these circles intersect? So the first one, these two circles intersect in two points. In this figure and this figure, they intersect in one point. And in the last two figures, they, as you can see, they do not intersect at all. So they have no common points. The first a relative position we want to study it is the externally disjoint circles where there is no common points between the two circles the rule says op is greater than a plus b where op is the distance between the two centers and a is the radius of the first circle and b is the radius of the second circle so whenever op is greater than a plus b whenever this is true then the two circles are externally disjoint. Let us see in this example. So a plus b is 2 plus 3, which is 5, and op is 7. So can we notice that op is greater than a plus b? Yes, 7 is greater than 5, then op is greater than a plus b. So the two circles are externally disjoint. This is a simulation representing the uh, disjoint external circles where we can see that the distance between the two centers is always greater than the sum of the radii. So uh, how, how, no matter how I move the circle and they are still externally uh, circles, disjoint external circles, this distance is greater than 5. The second case we want to study about is the internally disjoint circles, where the rule says if OP is less than A minus P, then they are internally disjoint circles. So OP is the distance between the two centers, A is the radius of the first circle, and B is the radius of the second circle. Let's study uh, this case here. So, if we want to know the relative position of the circles, we write A minus B and calculate it. And we know that OP is given that it's a 3 cm. We check is OP less than A minus B? 3 is less than 4. Then OP is less than A minus B. Then the two circles are internally disjoint circles. Here is a stimulation about the internally disjoint circles. You can see the distance between the two centers is uh, here in this case is OA. And the difference between the two, uh, the two radii in this case is 1. So, wherever I move the circle and it is still internal disjoint circle, this distance, as you can see, it's less than 1, which is the difference between the two radii. Next, tangent circles, externally tangent circles, they have one point in common. The rule says if OP, which is the uh, distance between the two centers of the circle, is equal to the sum of the two radii, then the, 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 these two circles are tangent externally. Okay, so I want to say an important note. It's not always that OP and A and B. They are, these uh, names are according to the figure. So maybe the distance between the two, uh, the two centers is OO prime or S 
are i don't know it refers to how do we, how do we name them on the figure so let's study this case if op is 8 a is 5 and b is a 3 then if we if we added them and the distance between the two centers is 8 they are equal then if they are equal we can conclude that these two sun, uh, circles are externally tangent circles next the internally tangent circles if this is true then they are internally tangent circles if the distance between the two centers is equals to a minus b let's see this case here so we try a minus b it's a 3 and op is a 3 then they are equal then we say that the two circles are internally tangent circles the last case are the intersecting circles the rule says that if the distance between the two centers op is between these two values a minus b and a plus b then the two circles are intersecting circles so if we apply on this uh, example here a plus b it's 7 and a minus b it's 1 and op is 5 we can notice that 5 this distance between the two centers is between these two values 1 and 7 then this rule applies and then these two circles are intersecting circles these uh, circles are intersecting circles and we know that the distance between the centers is between the difference of the two radii and the sum of the two radii so this value here is always between 1 and 5 in this case so you can notice that no matter how we move the circle this value here is always between 1 and 5 As a summary, uh, these are all the relative positions of two circles. There are five cases, uh, tangent internally and externally, disjoint internally and externally, and intersecting circles. Now, how do we memorize them? I will give you an easy way. So, whenever we have equal, the equal signs tells me that these two circles are tangent. And... Whenever we have a less than sign or a greater than sign, th then we are talking about disjoint circles. Now, how do we know if they are internally or externally? The negative sign, you can notice that internally, so we have equal and negative tangent internally, less than and negative disjoint internally. So whenever we have minus, it's internally. And uh, whenever we have the positive sign, the plus, tangent externally so equal and a plus tangent externally and greater than and plus disjoint externally the final one it's not a big deal it's easy so op the distance between the two radii is between a minus b and a plus b the final one is the easiest it's between a minus b and a plus b so in this example, we will learn how to determine the relative position of two circles knowing their radii and the distance between their centers. Given these two circles, circle C, center O and radius S, circle C prime, center E and radius R. So we are given the measure of the radius the, of the first circle and the second radius and the distance between the two centers. In order to determine the relative position, I should add the uh, R and S and I should subtract and then compare it with OE and see what happens. So R plus S is 8 and R minus S is 2 and the distance between the centers is 11. So we notice that 8, uh, 11 is greater than 8. So OE is greater than RS. Therefore, S and S prime are externally disjoint. So one case will be true only one case from the five cases of the relative positions in this case it's oe greater than rs then they are externally disjoint our final example so we are given r and s and the distance between the centers so we should to do two steps add r plus s and subtract and then compare it with oe so we notice that uh, R plus S is 10 and R minus uh, S minus R is 2 and OE is 8. So 8 is between 2 and 10. Thus, this is a true for what relative position of circles if they are intersecting. Then we conclude that S and C and C prime are intersecting. So as I have said before, only one uh, case will be true and that will be the relative position of C and C prime.